as of today, residents and tourists can now have the same safe, reliable, affordable experience that they have in 140 municipalities across Canada and over 10,000 cities across the world. The ride was fantastic. Alwinder was an unbelievable driver. And while he was driving me around the corner, um, he got four beeps for rides. So uh, just, I think there's a lot of people who are um, waiting for this to happen at noon. And as soon as noon went on, there was a bunch of them that decided that they were going to uh, be also maybe the second rider, because I think the first ride just took place. So. Today, the city of Kelowna announced that Uber, the rideshare company, is up and running in Kelowna. And the reaction to it, mostly positive, but not everybody is applauding. Uber is now available in Kelowna. It's not fair to the cab companies. Are you a cab driver? I'm a cab driver. Um, they can uh, lower and raise their rates. So when people get used to the um, rates being overcharged, they're going to figure it out and go to taxis, back to taxis, and keep everything local. We can absolutely coexist with taxi and other rideshare companies. Reducing the reliance on single occupancy vehicles and single car ownership is the goal here. So when we have more options, more rideshare, more micro mobility, and you have walkable communities, it's easier for people to get from A to B and actually meet, um, you know, the, the the city's transportation plan. On behalf of all of the tourism businesses in the area, we welcome you. We say thank you for joining into the sector and uh, wishing everybody uh, safe and many rides. I welcome Uber as far as the tourism go. We do need help in tourism, but when it comes to uh, the fall and winter time, it's gonna be devastating for the taxi industry. We're gonna focus on ourselves and just providing the best experience we can. And Better name recognition on Uber than you ride. Yeah, 100%. So I imagine that won't be great for your bottom line. Um, I don't know. So we're like, we're the local Canadian company. We're on the ground here. We're getting to meet a ton of people. Uh, so I think that goes a long way, uh, you know, in cities like Kelowna. And then on top of that, you can't like just rely on being local. It's got to be an incredible service. So if we're providing an incredible service to all of our passengers, all of our drivers and making you ride the best place for them to be, um, yeah, I think we're going to do well. You think you can coexist, Mega? make a living still. I think we can, yeah. I think not just like coexist, I think we can do really well. And uh, again, we're obsessed with all of our passengers, obsessed with taking care of the drivers and making sure that it's worth their time to be on our platform. And um, if we continue to do that, I think it's gonna pay off in the long run. We are moving closer to that critical mass of options that can make residents think twice about driving their own car to local events. Taxis, ride hailing and transit reduce the reliance on single occupancy vehicle trips and are an important part of a robust and growing network of transportation options within Kelowna. Uber will complement the services Kelowna already has and ensuring that everyone has a variety of choices that will suit their needs. Congratulations Uber and welcome to the city of Kelowna.